Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Um, I just want to take a minute and kind of walk you through what today looks like um, and what reading Romeo and Juliet will look like. So obviously reading a play on your own in your house isn't an ideal situation, um, but I'm just providing as many resources as possible to make it easy. Now this week we're just kind of focusing on reading it and making sure we understand kind of what's happening in the play. Um, so it's a pretty like easy week. Um, you're just reading and then answering some comprehension questions. So you can see this post is pinned to the top. So you should always see it um, for the rest of the week because it tells you what you're going to do. So this right here. Um, but if you scroll down right past that, you can see all of the um, things I have for you for Act 1, Scene 1 and 2, which is what you're reading today. Um, and so the first thing that I want to recommend is these two links right here. If you click on these, it actually opens up and it reads you the No Fear Shakespeare. So you can read right along in your PDF or in your book. Um, and then when you're done with Act 1, Scene 1, um, you click here and you have Act 1, Scene 2. So those are really helpful. They use different voices so you can hear the different characters. I think it just makes it a lot easier. The other link um, that I've provided here is a um, kind of another video like this, except it shows you how to watch the play performed at the Globe, which you guys know is where Shakespeare's uh, plays were originally performed. This is a really fun performance. It's, uh, the Romeo and Juliet in it are really good, so I highly recommend it. it. Again, it's a play. It's meant to be seen, so you should definitely check that out. Um, and then these two videos right here, Act 1, Scene 1, Summary and Analysis, just if you're kind of having trouble figuring out what's going on, I would check these. Um, and then the analysis does a really good job of talking about some of the themes of Romeo and Juliet. Again, we're not really delving into this stuff as much this week, but we will. And so these are good, like, kind of heads up. Then down here at the bottom, it says, when you've completed, don't forget to answer the comprehension questions. I'll send this link out and remind this morning, but also remember that they're up here. So if you come up to your assignments, the student, uh, pretend student hasn't done anything. Okay, we're going to ignore that. Um, you can see that you have your Wednesday assignment. So it says seam one and two questions. What you're going to do is you're going to click right here. It's going to open up, and then you're just going to answer these questions about scene one and two. They're just kind of making sure that you understand what's going on, that you've read the play, and then you're going to submit. After you've submitted, you want to come here, and you want to say, like, hey, hey, I'm done. And then you can click turn in assignment. And that'll just kind of let me know to go look for your answers and to put your grade in. Okay, so make sure that you do that as well. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it for today. Um, I know that the submitting the Word documents and the PowerPoints and things like that was a little confusing. So I did post a video about how to do that. But if you still need help, uh, make sure you're reaching out to me and asking me questions. Um, and again, all of this work can also be done in your paper packet. Um, but if you do that, just hold on to it and you'll give it to me later when we see each other again. Um, hopefully next week we'll schedule some time where maybe we can actually have like a group chat and see each other face to face because I know this is like a weird situation. But um, as always, I'll be available all day if you need anything, if you have any questions. Um, and good luck with your first scenes of Romeo and Juliet. Okay, bye.